Good afternoon guys, welcome to uh, my video and today we're going to be installing the USB flash drive emulator floppy. It installs right here, I actually already took out this old one right here. The only reason why I got the black one pretty late was because this one was on Amazon, That this is the only color they had and plus obviously free fast shipping, well I had to spend a few extra bucks on it, well more than we could think. Here I only spent like 16 bucks on the same Gotek, but now you know we're ready to install. I just took this out because I just like this color better because I believe if you know it fits better with you know the style of this keyboard. So we're gonna install it in. As you can see, got 64 megabyte RAM. Also, I um I ordered on eBay uh, expansion board SDD, which you can use up to four gigabytes. It's 200 dollars. I recommend. I believe the total was 221. Um, and you have to buy the 4 uh, gigabyte as uh, micro SD card, which is about like around like 20 bucks. But it's, you know, it's worth it. Your um, samples, you can load them super quick, like right away. And well, through this, I guess this is, you know, just good to save up your PCG programs. Like just the list, but not the sounds. This is what, you know, it benefits when it comes to that. But if you want to load good sounds and really quick especially when you're gonna play in a concert and you're gonna or might be doing a recording recommend you use this get yourself a sdd on my link below on my um description you'll find it um you'll be able to purchase it obviously it's brand new really recommend it a little fast so let's get to the to the real point so we got this now you can see it's empty so right now what we're gonna do we're gonna, as you can see, right here, we um, put it right here. We just put it right here. Well, we actually, well, I believe yeah, it's like this. We put it like here. As you can see, placed like that. Um, as you know, you're gonna have to move these things like real good. I think you can get like a little pin if you have like a like a ink pen and then just move it move it to like the size so that you know there could be more space. Very commendable. So we put it through here. So we just you know kind of squish it. You don't want to you know kind of you know break the parts but it's the only way you could you know insert it. All right, seems like it's it's almost already inserted. Right, seems like it's already in. Well, well, seems like the material is kind of different here, but good news is it's in its place, I believe now. Yeah, yeah, I guess the you know, material is different than. A little different than this from what I can see. But well, as you can see, now it's ready to be placed inside your trident. You got this, right? You want to take this pin connector, what we call it, and you insert it right here, real tight. So what you do, you insert it. You make sure it goes all the way in. You've got it from the side, from the back. All right, that's it. Pretty simple. And then we get the power adapter right here. This little thing, and you just insert it right here. This is actually my first synthesizer. I actually got for four hundred bucks from a friend of ours, and wow, this has been a huge blessing. And you know, I've just been upgrading this whole thing you know update the version and you want to make sure too that you get you have the version 2.5.3 of the Quirk Trident if you know how to update go on online by floppy disk and before you change it to this so that it could support so we just connect it we want to connect it good so that you can get the best of, out of your Trident Right, it 
it is installed. So now, we put it upside down. I believe it's like this. Well, the other side. Put it like that. You insert it like that. I believe. No. things but well one just gotta has to get used to it because that's just how there you go romance layers so as you can see you got two dots meaning there's nothing in it so i got this freshly new um usb flash drive you insert it right here obviously like that it's flashing so now we're ready to go to disk Obviously, that's what pops out. And I'll take you to the first floppy disk. That's actually considered as one already. You could pretty much delete those files there and you could already, um, you know, upload your, your data. The only thing is you only get 1.4 um, megabyte for each floppy. So it's like if you're using floppies, but instead you, um, you get 100 floppies and, and this thing holds one megabyte for each floppy. So... If you want to like, let's say, um, like how I say, if you want the low sounds, well, that's why I recommend you getting the SDD. But this is good for, you know, recording like sequence mode. Change there. Takes you to floppy one. So you pretty much, if you can see, there's this one button. Takes you to the first floppy. And then, see, when I keep clicking the same button, takes you to nine. But then you're like, why does it go back to zero? Like, bro. Well, if you can see, there's another button. And it hits one. And if you hit both buttons, that's what it does. It takes you to this many. You hold them at the same time. And then go up. Nine. And the other button nine you're saving almost pretty, pretty much 999 floppy disk in one machine and in one stick so you don't gotta deal with you know these guys anymore you know they're they're old i only had these when i bought the the trident just to update it from 2.1 to 2.5.3 which is the latest one you can actually find this at on reverb or if you just want to buy separate floppy disks, oh, I'll just might as well just buy the ones that that's already ready to you know ready to install your Trident, purchase it, and from the other machine which was the original where you used to insert these disks, that's what originally came with this keyboard. But now we got this, so you're saving tons of floppies and a ton of time. The only thing is, the con is you you only got one megabyte, so you could pretty much. The good thing is you can load up um, your programs and combinations. But, you, you know, when it comes to samples, I would recommend to have the SDD. I just ordered it. So I should be having it soon. And, and later on when I receive it, I'll show you a, a tutorial how to install it and how to, you know, load in information, which is pretty quick. But great news is looks beautiful. Even from far away, it looks beautiful. Just, you know, just to see this red thing, you know, flashing and, and all this stuff, you know. You got everything you need in, in this. It's only um 16 bucks on AliExpress. Actually took me three months to get it since my birthday back in April. And I just got it today. The other one, which I showed, um, got on eBay. You want to just buy the gray one? You know, it's all good. It's just the color difference, right? Like I just like the black one. They just don't have the black one on eBay. They just have the gray one. You can get it on, you know, Amazon for free shipping. And obviously, the shipping is quicker, right? I mean. You're not getting it from, you know, outside of like, I guess you could say outside of the state. I actually got this from, from China, from the same, you know, company, Godtech, but I guess from China and, you know, it just took long. But the good thing is it was its time already. It was time for its change. It was time to bring in something new. And yeah, uh, before we go anywhere, um, you go to utility, right? And then you go here, and then you format. 
I recommend using obviously quick format. Don't use full format because then it goes slower. Quick format is a little, you know, a little faster. I mean, it's good for like how I say it's good for learning programs and combinations, which is you know it does like the regular speed, just like if you were to have a floppy disk, of course. But when it comes to KSC and loading the sounds of the in the KMP, all that stuff, um, in the KSF, it's not recommended because they'll it takes long. It'll load, but it's gonna take you like maybe an hour and a half, almost two hours, just to load your sounds and just to use it. But um, well, it was it's time, so we press OK. Are you sure? Yes. Updating system area. There you go. And now you are ready to use your floppies. Take it back to zero. Now, now you're ready to use it. You can just delete this on your, you know, on your computer. Uh, software I would recommend is Batch Manage Tool. Manager, you want you can take a screenshot of my video. The download is free, and then you um you first first you gotta insert your USB flash drive inside here. So I'll do an example with you. I'll put in the same one, like the one we've load. Insert it right here to its own original component. All right, and you got all this right here. So I'll do an example right here. I got a. Uh, Piano. Uh, let's just do an example. Uh, piano. Uh, I'm not gonna use these either way, but we'll, we'll, let's just say I wanna. I'm gonna get KMP. All right. Like I said, it's not recommended to put in you know the sounds into your USB um, emulator unless if you're willing to you know get all the time. Well, that's cool. No worries. Uh, you can go on to number one and then you could paste in this all right and then go back here you right click and you press save remember this is what this is what you um well, I guess it's zero because nothing that pretty much is only one gigabyte, but still it's already saved. Now you can release this, you know, with no problem. So let's do an example. Now that that's closed, you can close this and then it gives you a hundred floppies to record. It gives you a hundred, I believe. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Oh, 99. But hey, this is excellent. This is super cool. You're saving this much of this. Imagine if these being with you in your hand right now. Psst. You'll have to have like a huge box of like that, but not anymore. Now you can, you know, and just one device, you put it on here, which is, you know, takes work, but it's worth it. And then when you finish, you go to the, what do you call this thing? You eject, of course it's ready. So now, you release it and now ready to insert it back go back here go back to disk okay we actually say that KMP on number one so we will press this and now number one I can hit this hit the screen and there you go it's right there it's all right there my friends you got all Everything when you knew. So just know, just just know, when you're moving on to the next, you press this whichever button. And let's say I want to go to just 20. Um, you click on the the left button, the first button, to one two, and then you hit this again, takes to zero, and then go to floppy 20. We'll see right now. There you go. So that is all my friends for, and I'm I'm glad that you are able to watch this. I hope you enjoyed it got any questions about you know floppy emulators or relating to how to like you know put this all together hit me an email i am willing to help remember 
EG is here to help you fix it. Have a great day and an awesome night for everyone, for all my YouTubers that are watching this, for all my fans, or from everywhere, whoever's watching this, from whichever nation, you know, this is for you. For any keyboard player, it doesn't have to be necessarily the Trident, but it could be for, for you know, the old ones, maybe like a Yamaha Motif. I believe you can use, you know, this thing. But, well, have a have a awesome time, guys. And I hope you liked it. Subscribe, like, share with musicians that might be interested in this. And don't forget the SDD um, link is in the description. Also, this, too. So with the flash drive, all those, all the equipment I have, I'm gonna, I have it in my description box. You click on it, it'll take you directly, and you could purchase it with, with your own time. Have a awesome time, guys. Guys, just one heads up I want to make here. Uh, when you insert your flash drive, um, obviously we insert it, and if you have a new one, well, you insert it to your computer first. You make sure you um, install what you call the the manager, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So that you can make this into a uh, a floppy, you go to well, ignore that, but it won't pop out like that's gonna pop out as like if it was a USB drive, obviously, because I already formatted it a long time ago. But you could you go here to USB flash drive, you format. And make sure it's like this in quick format, obviously. And that's why I said here you have on quick format instead of full format so it can go super quick. So you begin format. It's gonna erase everything, just let it just say okay. And it's formatting and format's complete. And now you are ready to save and load your data. That is all I have for today.